This is Anderson Pence Podcast, episode 289 for Wednesday, September 26th, 2018. This is Brian. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. All right, just do it and get it over with. So have you noticed in the plaza lately, since they hired the new janitor, it's much cleaner? Not really. Well, I hear they've made some sweeping reforms. <laughs> You know, that's not bad. It's not really funny, but that's not bad. You get like half a point for that. Half a point, all right. Half a point. It was okay. like mildly amusing. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> you see what I have to put up with? Oh my God. Um, we have some, we have some new stuff, some stuff to talk about this week and stuff okay. that's, most of it is stuff that is coming. Like down the line? Like this week, today okay. maybe. Ooh, um, I like so that. the big one um, this week is, is really almost everything on the, on the list today is, is, is Japanese. So uh, the big one today. Okay. Uh, Pilot Vanishing Point 2018 Limited Edition Crossed cool. Lines. It's going to be here this week. Awesome. Maybe even today. Awesome. Probably not, but it'll be here soon. So if you haven't put in your back in stock notification for this, you have to do it. Yes. Um, These are cool. Um, every other year, France gets to pick the design, and every other year, the U.S. gets to pick the design. Um, this year, it was a France design. Uh, the guilloche was as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit more um, understated, subdued. So you like the U.S. designs. I like, happen to like the French designs. Yes, so, you uh, can have one. I did not take one last year, so I, I am definitely taking one this year. Awesome. I'll and, just borrow it. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and there are fewer vanishing points coming to the U.S. this year than there have been in past. So our allocation was Everybody's shrunk allocation. a little bit. Yeah. I wonder um, why that is. Or, or, like, is the U.S. being punished? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, those are coming this week. So I Super know. Super exciting. Um, if you haven't put in a back and stock notification, do it. They will go fast, um, and this is it. So I, I'm I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. So and we've known about this for quite a while. So we have to finally actually see it will be yes. will be awesome. So uh, that's coming this week. Uh, also coming uh, hopefully uh, end of the week. Uh, end of the week. Maybe, Maybe beginning of next week. Beginning of next week, uh, depending on how long shipping takes. I'm excited about this. This is gonna, this is gonna be cool. Um, it's kind of a funky color. I kind of like it. It is funky. Sailor, 1911, Key Lime. So North American exclusive. North American exclusive, like the Anchor Gray, the Fresca, the Royal Tangerine. Stormy Seas. Stormy yep. Seas. Now you've got this really funky key lime, sort of. Um, it's. It's it has a metallic has finish, that, just like the Stormy Seas. So it's it, kind of yeah, kind of shimmery. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, um, in a key lime color, it's, it's this a funky green. Yeah, it's, it would go sort of well with your sweater. My mom made this sweater. I know. It would go well with your, with your <laughs> sweater that your mother... I don't know. Help me Just out here. Give, up, give it up. Um, fun, fun color. Uh, I'm excited. It's sometimes nice to have a little pop of color. And we've really been blessed the last um, several releases. The Fresca was certainly Fresca a departure great, yeah. in color. Um, Royal Tangerine, certainly not demure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this again is just gorgeous so um, so 1911 standard with the 14 karat nib and the 1911 large with the 21 karat nib all seven nib sizes both uh size pens so uh everything from extra fine fine medium fine medium broad zoom and music so we need kim here to have that little bubble with all the little things going on um, anyway what sailor else? key lime uh is coming soon get your back in stock notifications for that and uh, they'll be here very soon uh, as long as we're talking about Japanese and mentioned Pilot, a couple, couple things to note about Pilot and the Miki Makie. Um, effective October 15th. So less than a month. Less than a month. Um, the 20% discount is no longer going to be available. So Pilot Namiki is going to a, a zero discount policy, which means we can't discount the pen from MSRP. Um, that's part of our dealer agreement. Um, you know, and if it's if it's a thousand dollar pen, normally it would be an eight hundred dollar pen, and now we have to sell it for a thousand dollars. So. And what does that apply to? 
So it applies to any Machia in the Pilot Namiki line. So that's pre pretty much every Namiki. Um, it's the. It also includes the Pilot Custom Arushi because Arushi is considered Machia. Can I touch this? You can touch that one. Yeah, of course. The Vermilion, the black. Uh, it also includes the Rodden Vanishing Points, uh, which have been pretty much um, out of stock for a long time. But when those come in, those are going to see a little bit of a bump in price. Um, it includes the popular the Namiki Nippon Art, those are pretty. which is the kind of the entry level uh, Machia hand Machia. Um, I've got the uh, the chinkin here, the cherry blossoms. This one's quite popular. I do like those. Yeah, yeah, That's these, a good are, size these are nice. For me. It is a good size. Hmm. Um, I should get one before you, the price goes up. You know, our cost doesn't change. <laughs> So that doesn't that that doesn't work, um, you know. Yeah, but we still have to pay for them. Yukaris. Um, you know, people think we get this stuff for free. We don't get this stuff no. for free. You know, the Rock Garden. Look at this one. So, yeah, these are all. The price technically is not going up. It's just it's the just, discount the discount's is going eliminated. away. Yeah. So, okay. um, if you've been on the fence about a Nippon Art or a Chinkin or a Yukari or Kasumarushi or something like that. Um, October 15th, now. the price has to go up. So we, we have no say in that. Um, and they're really very strict about their pricing yeah. policy. So if, yeah. if a, an authorized retailer doesn't follow the pricing, they probably will not be an authorized retailer much longer. Well, guaranteed it's, uh, it's going to affect allocations. Yes. So if, uh, if we don't play by the rules, which we always do, um, that means any future allocations for special pro uh, products, like the one we're going to talk about next, uh, you would get nothing. You, nothing, yeah, pretty much nothing. Yeah. So, uh, and speaking of which, uh, Pilot 100th year anniversary, which was just kind of announced uh, within the last week. Do I need to worry? You know, I want to see this in person. Okay. I, I am I am on the fence. So Ooh. there are actually three offerings. Okay, you can't of, have the most expensive. Okay, so I'm the most expensive one, which uh, there are twenty five pieces, is going to be a big seven piece set. Um, the box is outstanding. It's it's Machia, it's Chinkin. Um, it comes with a little pen rest, seven number ten sized nibbed uh, ring top pens. Um, the low, low price of uh, $48,000, so we're not going to get that one. No, we're not. Uh, there is an Emperor off offering, uh, Mount Fuji. Mm. Um, that one's coming in about 9600 Okay. Uh, probably not going to get that, although... If you want it, we can get it. If you want it, we can get it for you. Um, the uh, affordable option is going to be the Yukari op uh, option. Okay. So it's uh, Mount Fuji and um, and then of course the the, the sailboat um, is a nice nice looking pen and has a clip. Um, it is it is actually it's kind of this this form factor. It looks like the chinkin, the flat top with the clip. Um, nice nice looking pen, but you know the pictures never never do them justice. So that one's coming in about sixteen hundred. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are gonna we are gonna get some in. Okay. Uh, there are only 800. Some are going out, by the way. Yes, I guess so. Uh, there are only 800 of those, and only, I believe, 81, I think, is the number are coming to the United States. Okay. So um, we're going to get a couple of those, uh, maybe one for Chicago. And um, so if that's something you're interested in, uh, check it out. We'll have it on the website uh, very soon. Uh, but uh, nice-looking pen, and they have a special nib, too. So special 100th anniversary on it and uh, the Mount Fuji on the nib. So it looks really, really nice. Very cool. So. Very cool. Uh, Hobonichi. A lot of people have emailed those people who um, placed pre-orders. Um, our initial listing said that it was an estimated ship um, of September 14th. Uh, I guess we weren't clear that was kind of shipping to us. Um, well, they, they got held up. They did get held up in customs. And so we do have an update that they were just released from customs and they should be here any day today or tomorrow, maybe. Um, so you should be seeing some shipping notices come along um, this week. Uh, usually once it's released from customs in Chicago, it's, it's pretty quick, pretty darn yeah, quick. It's like one day, yeah. usually one or two days. So. 
So that's good. Uh, good to hear that. Um, Esther books are coming in too, so yes. that's exciting. Um, a lot of cool stuff coming in. So those are going to be here. Actually, those are those are shipping out probably today um, for the first batch of orders. So. Yes. Um, but we'll have we should have some of those in Dallas, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, and so you can see them in person if you've been on the fence. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Switching gears entirely. Okay. So this is this to me is exciting. This is a new product. It's so cute when you get all excited over like geeky things. Uh, it's a it's a five dollar item, but nobody else has this. So it just amuses me when you get excited about something that's so inexpensive because of the two of us, you are by far the pricier when it comes to pretty much anything. What are you saying? I'm saying you're expensive. I'm, I'm easy, I'm not cheap, is that what <laughs> you're, you're saying? You're not cheap, um, <laughs> and you are easy. Whatever. <laughs> um, so nobody else has this. Okay. Um, you can throw it around as, to people again. As some of, uh, as some people know, the the one of the main suppliers for for J bars and pressure bars passed away. So we actually had to source out. We were out for quite a while. We had to source out a new manufacturer, and um, we're getting these direct now. But we were able. The nice thing about it is we were able to add to the lineup. So before we had. Uh, 54 millimeter J bar, 62 millimeter J bars. We had a couple different sizes of pressure bars, but there was a couple things that were lacking. Okay. Um, and the big one is this guy right here. It's the 48 millimeter J bar. So explain to the people at home, because I know this answer. What's so? Why is this awesome? exciting? Yes. This is exciting Why because are you all giddy like a schoolboy. Because the way these these bars are manufactured, it's a two piece bar and it's crimped on the end. The problem is, is if you need to cut a bar to size, you can't just pull this out, cut it, and put it back in and crimp it. It, it doesn't really work unless you have a, a crimping machine, I guess. So what you end up doing is you end up cutting this perfect bend here and then having to rebend it, which doesn't always go so well. I've done it. It's not easy. And you often have to do it for Estabrooks because if you have an Estabrook that has the inner tray liner, that 54 millimeter is too long. Right. So this 48 is much shorter. It's going to fit in there really well. Uh, it's also going to fit on shorter pens where the 54 is just too darn long. Um, and the 40 that we have, the other, the, the other bar that we have, the 40 is too small. Correct. So this is this is right in the middle. It's like Goldilocks. It, it is Goldilocks. <laughs> Uh, I'm totally stoked Goldie about Locks it. J bar. Because it just, you know, I mean, if you have to resize a 54 millimeter J bar, it can take some time because you put it in, you got to test it, you got to make sure you get the crimps in the right place. So there is that. <clears throat> so this is like no more crimping for you. There's no more, no more rebending and crimping. The other thing we have is we have two new sizes of a three piece bar. That's funky. This. What's, uh, that? What's that do? Let me just play with that. Can you break it? 62, can you break it? Yeah, you probably could. 62 and a 72 millimeter, what they call a hanging pressure bar. Now what this is used for is this, no, not like that. <laughs> not like that. So what this kidding. is what this is used for. <laughs> this is why I don't do repairs. Oh my God. So this is like the regular, the regular pressure bar, but it has this third piece here that has, you see this, it's got this little 90 degree cut there. Yep. And what that does is on your, your, your button fillers, your dual folds, this piece here actually just sits on that opening. And so this sits in a perfect spot and then allows this, when you press it down and when there's pressure applied to have this third piece come out. So uh, really kind of a nice, a nice bar that has just not been available. Um, and so you've got two sizes of that? Two sizes, uh, 62 and 72. So your dual fold juniors and your seniors, if you don't want to use the, the standard um, now we have we have longer the the regular pressure bars we've got that eighty four millimeter mm -hmm. in a two piece but these are three piece sometimes you want that. Um, this is why I don't use button fillers. That's just complicated. It's just nice. It's nice. I always like those. They're easy to put in. You know, I mean, they only go in so far. Boom, they're done. Um, so if you're you into know, repairs, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> 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 okay, Bob's my uncle. Bob's my stepdad. Actually, Bob's your stepdad. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, three new three new uh, bars that have not previously not been available. I mean, in order to do this, you'd either have to 
make something or, or as a, on these hanging bars, you would have to, you'd have to source from a, a vintage pen, so. Which is not easy and they're often broken or rusted yeah, rusty or, or yeah, questionable. So. Crap on them, so. All right. So that's exciting, anyway. Good for you, because I don't do repairs. I know you don't. I know. So, cool. What do we right. get next? Rapid fire? I rapid love this. Fire. I love rapid fire. Do you? It's one of my favorites. You know, I think we learn a little you about each other. Flip this Flip this over. Flip it this way? Yeah, flip it over. Yeah, the one on top. There you go. All right. Question number one. Titanium or steel? If we're, are we talking nibs? What are we talking? If we're talking nibs, steel. I, titanium is just, yeah, steel. Steel's real, as they say. If we're talking about bikes, steel. I don't get the question. Steel. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go with titanium just, just to be just contrary. To be different. Because I can't. Just to be difficult. All right. A5 or B6, which oh, is here bigger. Here we go. Here we go. Which is bigger. <laughs> can, we, can we get a call? Can we phone a friend? Can we call? Where's my phone? Where's that phone? Can we call Mr. Paper? Uh, whatever's bigger. Um, I'm a, all for a, what, A5 is. is, is that, I want letter size. That's what I want. I just want letter size. A5. I'm going to go with A5. All right. That's I'm going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Leather pen case or fabric pen case? Ooh. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with fabric, like the one my mom made for you. Yeah, that's Or nice. the Tasha that's pen nice. wraps. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, Leather's nice. It's a, often a little sturdier. But the only problem with fabric is you can't get them in 48 pen cases. You could call mom. Can you imagine she'd make me a 48 pen roll up, maybe she two? She would. <laughs> she, she loves you. She would make that. She's going to be, she's be, gonna be sending me a text in about 20 minutes. <laughs> she's going to say, I can what do that. What color? <laughs> yeah, what color do you want it in? Um, so my answer is fabric. I'm going to go with leather. Okay. I like leather. Shading or sheen? I know this one. Okay, go. Well, I, know, I know what you're going to say. All right, well, why don't you tell me what you're going to say? Uh, I like sheen. Okay. I'm going to skip them. I don't care. Does it make me a bad person? You know what we ought to do is we ought to, we ought to do this, but then we ought, we ought to have a third party answer these questions, and then we'll do like the, like the dating game, and then I'll write down what I think you're going to put Ooh. and put it up. Okay. Idea. Sort of like the shoe game at Jason's wedding. Yes. Okay. That was kind of fun. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, I'm really boring when it comes to my ink. I just want it to be the color it's supposed to be. I really don't care that it does tricks afterwards. <laughs> Sailor Gentle Blue, that's awesome. Yeah, Change it is. to red. Yeah. Well, that's cool, but you know, that's like a little bonus. It's like you order a coffee and you get a little whipped cream on it. Like, it's nice, but it, I, I could go either way. I just way. wanted the coffee. I just, yeah. Cup o' noodles or frozen pizza? Who came up with these questions? Neither of them are on the diet. Next. Cup o' noodles. I don't do, pizza has to be hot. I don't do cold pizza. Well, it, you don't eat it frozen. Well, I'm just saying. You buy it frozen. Noodles. And then you cook it. The frozen pizza's never that great. All right. Big ink bottles or little ink bottles? Size does matter. I'm going to go with big. I never use them up, but... Big. Easier to fill. Yes, absolutely. Although little ink bottles are often really good for travel or to keep at your office desk. We work at a pen store. Other people. Okay. I'm going to go with big. Big. All right. Zippered pen case or tuck flap pen case? Uh, yes. I like zippered. Well, if it's a big case, it has to be. If it's a four pen case. I like them zippered. Don't care. I like the, the tuck. All right. Good to know. I didn't know that. I only have one non-zip case, but okay. all my cases. Well, actually, no, that's not true because I have a Franklin You've Christoph pen You've got a couple snaps. Log. That's a magnet. All right, so I'm all about the zip. Oh God, these are complicated. Eyedropper or piston filler? Um, piston. Neither. I like a piston. cartridge. Cartridge you like converter. A piston filler? No, like they're all those auroras you used to have, and I some still have some, and, and those are lovely, and they write beautifully. And thank you, Sarge. I love you for my 75th anniversary, but. Eyedropper, absolutely not. Um, I collect eyedroppers until, you know. Which the day is why is done, you have the bigger collection because you don't have to share them with me. Yeah, I mean, piston. piston's fine. But piston, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I'm glad they clarified this. Towel or paper towel? It's like a cloth towel or a paper towel for nib cleaning. Paper towel. Paper towel. I actually use both uh, at the bench, but um, I always feel guilty even if it's a, a, a rag like that your mother sends me that she's so nicely. She she surges the edges for surges, you. Surges, yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> um, I always feel guilty about using a getting them dirty, so I, I have the stack of paper towels. That I are like, folded that I keep forever. I like paper towels only because the real towels at the store, um, we do have a big pile of inked, inky um, towels and they're just permanently stained. Um, but I have to make sure to wash them separately. So they're just a little more difficult. I'm going to go you know, with paper towel. You can use paper towel a long time and then you, you, know, you can toss it. All right. Yeah, so. Last one. Latte or hot chocolate? Uh, I'm going to have a hot, venti, blonde, sugar-free vanilla breve latte, please. We're going to Starbucks? <laughs> you just like saying that. Now that you've got I like the that I finally on. figured it yeah. out. I think that's the right order. Um, latte. Yeah, I'm going to go latte. Hot chocolate's just a little too sweet for me. Unless it's late in the evening and then hot chocolates. And you put Baileys in it. You Baileys. Did what? you do that last night? You did that. I did. You did. Okay. I did. It's yummy. So. All right, so All that's right. more than people needed to know about us. All right, uh, oh, there's other stuff that's coming up this week. No eyedropper. Um, no eyedropper. <laughs> uh, pretty much as soon as we're done with this, we are going to finish packing the car. Uh, hopefully we didn't get a parking ticket. And we are leaving to go to the Dallas Pen Show. It's one of my favorites. One of, you say that about everyone. I'm saying this Sincerely, is, this is, this is one, of, my one of our favorites. Um, we've been going for what, eight, nine years now? Something like that. Yeah, a actually, long... you know, I had a thing show up on my, my Facebook memories thing of a video of our table from eight years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> i got to show it to you. It's hilarious. All right. A um, couple years ago, <clears throat> Eric went with us when the mm -hmm. Starburst Galaxy came out, and Eric was doing selling social in media the in the back of the car yep. selling pens. We stopped somewhere. There's a picture of us on swings. Yep. Um, Dallas is incredibly well organized. Um, I like that it's a two day show, but it's a busy two days. It's, yeah, a, it's a long, 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 long Friday, um, but people come. And um, then Saturday is the busy day, and then you're done. Yeah. So I do, I love three day shows, but two day, if they're both busy, it's really kind of like a hit and run. It's just bam, you, you work and then you leave. Friday's, Friday's tough though because it goes until eight o'clock. And then we and always so, have dinner plans. Like at six o'clock, I'm like, we got two more hours. It's just, you know, it starts to wear on you because you've yeah. been setting up all day and you know. Um, this so. year, um, we've got a pretty full dance card. We've got well, dinner only two, plans. Only two, two nights, so. Dinner plans Thursday with uh, some dear friends and then Dinner plans Friday with, uh, it's kind of our annual dinner date with uh, George from Retro 51 and yep. Jennifer, our sales rep. Um, and do we have breakfast scheduled? No, we do not. Okay. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, let's keep it so, that way. Well, we'll see, see what happens. <laughs> um, um, Dallas is great. They've got a lot of different uh, seminars for attendees. One of our favorite things is the silent auction, except we never seem to yeah, get you know, back I, out there. I think we need to get someone to place a bid for us or something. I like a silent auction picker? Well, we need a picker. It's, it's, hard, it's hard enough to get out there and look, and sometimes you can see it in the morning. Now, that's on, is that on Friday or Saturday? I think, I think it's, it's both on, days. Is it both days? They put it out Friday. They put and it out Friday and then it ends Saturday, Saturday and they want you something? to pay before you leave. I don't know. Obviously. We need to maybe you need to see if we can get someone to Keep to go there and check for us because we you know once you put the bid out you can't you know. But there have been, there have been some cool things that we want there in the are, past years, and the, and the the proceeds go to the club. Yes, uh, and that helps keep the table fees down. It helps um, the club. Um, yeah, they keep the table fees down. They keep the hotel rooms for the vendors and the attendees um, cheaper. Um, what else? It, it enables them to do more seminars, to bring in more attendees who hopefully spend more money. So everybody makes money. It's all so. good. And there's, there's some good stuff in there, too. And, there, and all, the, all the items are donated either by vendors or from members of the club. Yeah. So. Um, they've they've really done an excellent really, job Really, really cool that. stuff. So Other people should do that. Yeah, yeah, they should. We should tell Eric. Yeah. So, 
But uh, anyway, so that's that's that. Uh, I don't know what the hours are. I know it's until eight on Friday, and then Saturday it's like probably until ten to five, ten to five or, 10 to five or something yeah, like that. We should so. know that. Um, but uh, Friday and Saturday, September 28th and 29th, it's the Double Tree uh, Hilton in Galleria. By the Galleria. By the yep. Galleria. On yep. Valley View Lane. So, uh, nice little place, too. A nice to, to hang out. The, the bar area is right there when you walk in. It's a really lovely bar. So you well, can, it was undergoing renovation last year. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So, so hopefully this year it'll be, be good uh, yep. post show conversation at the bar. There you go. So. And what's after that? The Denver, very next week. Very next week, uh, very next Colorado back Pen back. Show in Denver. So um, also at a, at a nice, nice double hotel. Double Tree, Stapleton also at a double, North. Two Double Trees two weeks in I long. know. You know what that means. Cookies. Cookies. The cookies are awesome. And what did we learn last year in Denver? Eat all the cookies. Don't give Will any cookies. Don't give Will any cookies, yeah. So. Sorry, Will. Um, Denver uh, is also super well organized. Um, you know, I think St. Louis has everybody beat for organization. Do you think so? They're pretty darn organized. They're pretty good. But um, Denver is fantastic. Dallas is just, Dallas is friendly and happy and just low key. All the attendees are just happy to be there. They don't have much in the South. Those guys don't, I mean, yeah. they have to go a long way to go yeah. to a show. I mean, they're, I guess they're close to Little Rock and we'll see some of probably the, hopefully we'll see the Bilers and yep. uh, some of our friends from that area. But there's not a lot of shows. I mean, Atlanta, I guess, but, uh, you know, they don't, they have to travel a long way to get right. the East Coast or West Coast. So Right. Whereas like the East Coast shows, you've got a bunch of yeah, them. Yeah, you've got a bunch of them so every, every, every couple months. But, you know, all the attendees are just happy and um, it's, it's just a, a a fun, friendly show. We get to see some beautiful weather and some really fun things. We get to go by the Indian. The Indian. In big, big cabin. Key, big cabin. Big Oklahoma. cabin, Oklahoma. Yep. One of my favorite things. So. Um, but it's it's just a really good show. A great assortment of vendors you can have. Uh, is Mike Masuyama going? Uh, I can't remember. I think he is, and not the Kennedys this year. They alternate. You can get your nib ground by Mike Masuyama. Um, you've got modern dealers like us. You've got vintage people, the silent auction, um, bunches of seminars. It's really a lot of a stuff going on. Good time, good so. time. So you should go. So yeah, if you're anywhere, don't don't question it. Just go. So it's and it's a good size show too. It's yes. not small. It's uh, yes. two 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 decent rooms. So anyway, that's it. But uh, I think that's it for this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, be sure to tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, paper, uh, and follow the. But you're not giving Nothing. me the. You're giving me the look. I, I was like, just going to say a, and pen show recap. And pen show recap. Yep. We'll see. Uh, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And check out our social media, Anderson Pens. There you go. Um, and in case you weren't aware, we have a store in Chicago, downtown in the Loop, inside the Palmer House Hilton. Um, stop by anytime. We're on the ground floor. And uh, we're open seven days a week. Check it out. Chicago.AndersonPens.com. There you go. See you next time.